Hello friends and welcome back to another Max Raid event update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today marks the change of another Max Raid event in the wild area in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So we'll be covering that quickly in today's episode because the previous one ended last night, which included Pokemon like Dragapult, Whimsicott, Rotomosh, Wartum Heat, the Tyranitar and Excadrill. Now they've all gone, they finished, and the G-Max Pokemon are returning, but only one. But it is a special one. It is something that we've probably needed for a long time and it's going to be exciting to catch it because it is all centered around Pikachu. So G-Max Pikachu will now be available from today, which is the 12th, until the 18th, which is next Monday. So you've got a small window to catch these Pokemon, but uh, a very exciting event nonetheless. So we'll start off by going over to a trusted source at Cerebi. The link will be down in the description as always. And we'll have a look what we can get for the three star, uh, well, one, two, three, and four, and five star Pokemon. So if you're in the early stages of your playthrough, you'll obviously have access to getting the one star Pikachus, um, the two star Pikachus, and the three star Pikachus will be a bit full if you're a bit further along in your, your game, if you finish the majority of you guys. Um, but all the items pretty much stay the same. The numbers just multiply as you get through the... the to the the bigger star Pokemon, um, no special items unfortunately. Just getting the uh, the berries, uh, gold nuggets, which is always good for money, um, and then the the Dynamax candies and the the XL um, level candies. That's all we're getting here. Nothing special. But as you can see, there is no other alternative Pokemon other than Pikachu. But there is some quite interesting things here. It does have access to Surf, which is really, really cool. So you can see here the five-star Pikachus have access to Surf. So that's the ones you probably want to go for. And the other big news is, prior to this event, if you wanted to use Gigantamax Pikachu, G-Max Pikachu, then it would only have its static ability. It wouldn't have access to Lightning Rod. But now, with this event, you can now catch... Pikachus, G-Max Pikachus with that Lightning Rod ability, making it even more viable in the competitive scene. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see how it plays out and uh, what happens with it and what impact it can make. It had a very small impact at the very start of the, the, the season, especially in VGC. We saw that really cool team where Pikachu won a big online event and then kind of did nothing after that. But I think with support with Surf and obviously the Lightning Rod ability, it does make it a bit more viable um, and gives it a little bit of an edge going into the, the, the competitive scene here. So, um, like I say, there's not really too much to cover here. Uh, just the moves, Faint, Surf, Light Screen, Thunder are what you're going to get on the 5 star. Um, again, the items aren't really anything to write home about. Uh, nothing special there, nothing like a light ball or anything, which would have been really nice, but I mean we can't have everything, um, and both Sword and Shield editions of the game are exactly the same. So, like I said at the very start of the video, this event will run from May 12th, which is today, to the 18th of May, which is next Monday, so you've not got the biggest window to catch these Pokemon, so just make sure that you do grab yourself one or two while you can. Right, we'll hop back over into the game and we will cover how... Uh, we do this. So as you can see right now, I have a an event Raid Den active. Uh, you can see that it is part of the, the previous, uh, the older events that are running. So we've got an Excadrill here, um, which has got no right to be in Drappled Grove, but it is one of the event beams. Now, uh, what you can do is just hit your, well, you can either connect online or the easier way I always find is hit your home menu, go to mystery gift, and then click on get wild area news, and that will update. And it should update the den at the same time. So the Excadrill event will now change to the new event. So this is a nice way if you've got an event den active and you know the, the, the dens are gonna update very soon, just keep it. And then when you they do update, just go in, do this process, and then once you go back into the den, it should change. There we go, to a five-star Pikachu. So we'll just hop straight into it. And I'm hoping, I really am hoping that this is the hidden ability lightning rod Pikachu. 
Because I'm assuming if you can get the, the normal abilities... Well, I'm assuming if you can get the hidden abilities that you'll be able to get the normal abilities as well. So it's not going to be lightning rod every time. I don't know though. That might not be the case. They might all be lightning rod. But we will catch this Pikachu and we will soon find out. I've also got level 100 Excadrill that I've traded across from my previous games. So this is going to make it a little bit easier to get. Although a G-Max move is super annoying. So you're going to have to contend with paralysis. And even being a ground type, because of the, the secondary effects of its G-Max move, it will be able to paralyze us, even though we're not affected by its actual electric type attacks. So, get this Max Quake off, it is 5 star. Let's see how easy these are to take down. <sighs> not as easy as in real life, you know. <laughs> There's no way Pikachu really takes a Max Quake straight up in VG. But... In the, the world of a den, Dynamax den, it will take it. I kind of like this event. It's cool. It wasn't something I was expecting. <laughs> and then we forget about the surf as well, which is cool. Um, because what Pikachu can now do, if you think about it, is in competitive sense of things, is actually set the rain for a water type attacker that's sitting next to it that would be otherwise threatened by electric type attacks especially with the lightning rod just pulling them those attacks set the uh, the max geyser away set the rain up and then uh, your water type especially if it's got swift swim or something it's quite a nice little combination that you can uh, you can pull with pikachu so have a pikachu party and uh, definitely grab one of these pikachus while you can so if pikachu was like a like one of the original uh, pikachu events i think it was in pokemon stadium um, where you complete the, the game on the N64 and your gift was a surfing Pikachu, which was really cool. Um, and I think they've done subsequent events since then with surfing Pikachu. So it's always been something that we've had as an event, um, but really nice to have it now in Sword and Shield. But hopefully this isn't going to take too much longer to get. Um, but the other interesting thing about this den is it's only running for six days so it would suggest that in six days time on Tuesday next week we are going to have a, another installment of uh, GMAX Pokemon or just another GMAX Pokemon to get for the, the remainder of May. Now whether that is Meowth or Eevee which are the other two Pokemon that were kind of exclusive Pokemon to the launch of Sword and Shield would be another thing. Um, I'm kind of hoping not because um, I mean the Eevee will be fine right because then you can you can evolve the Eevee um, into whatever you want and make use of it that way but uh, GMAX Eevee I haven't actually got it so it'd be kind of nice for my collection but otherwise Ah, I'm really tempted to go for the dive ball, but I don't want it to escape. I want to check this thing out. So we'll just repeat ball this this time. This will give us the best chance to catch this because we've um, we've already got a Pikachu in our complete deck. So hopefully it doesn't escape. I don't know what the catch rates are like, but I would imagine they're exactly the same as most other dens. And there we go. We actually get the Pikachu. So. I'm probably going to make a point of getting one in a dive ball or trying to get a hidden ability one in a dive ball. This could have been the one, but never mind. Anyway, so there we go. Let's have a look at the items that we've got. We've got the uh, large candy, XL candy, Dynamax candy, citrus berry, Kelpsy, rare bone, nugget, and then the TRs, wild charge, thunderbolt, and thunder. Which is always nice. Thunderbolt's always a, a, a TR that I'm running low on, so if we can stockpile those for a little while, that'd be quite good. And then we can have a quick gander at this Pikachu. So, has it got the lightning rod? It has! It's got the lightning rod! Awesome! Okay, well, that that is great. So, um, there you can see it has got the Surf, Ball Tackle, Light Screen, and Thunder. And remember, this was a 5-star one, so we were pretty fortunate in that respect. Let's have a look at its uh, IV spread. And not bad, not bad, just that defense stat that isn't best, but uh, we can't have everything, can we? So, um, that wraps about that wraps up about everything that I wanted to cover in this video, my friends. Remember that it is running from today till next Monday, which is the 18th. Go have fun, grab yourself some GMAX Pikachu, get that lightning rod and surf uh, Pikachu while you can. And um, 
enjoy the event because it's going to be a lot of fun i think uh thanks so much for tuning in if you've enjoyed it do drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more of this content i cover all of the the den updates when they do drop uh, we do other guides and um vg competitive content as well so if you're into pokemon and love all that sort of thing we've got plenty of that coming out and um, so thanks again for tuning in take care of yourselves my friends and i will see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye